Penfield, I'm Hamisha Palm Reddy, and I'll be your host for this week's Charger Time. First up, we have Ethan with sports. Hey Penfield, Ethan Hager here. In math counts this week, on Tuesday, January 25th, nine students from Penfield traveled across to Penbrook to compete in the 2022 Math Counts School Competition. During this competition, Penfield claimed the top five spots in the individual portion of the competition, and Penfield finished in first and second place in the team competition. Great job, mathletes, in nominating this year's school competition. If you see the following students around the school, congratulate them on a job well done. Max Brodsky, Andrew Wang, Reddy Ravalli, Justin Zhu, Aiden Kwok, Mo Kalapara, and of course, PFTV's own, Haritha Rajan, Satya, Satya Pachampali, and Raj Prabhu. Moving on to 9th grade girls basketball. 9th grade girls lost their game on Friday the 14th to PW 17-8. Dana Delameter led the scoring with 6 points and Alana Nguyen pitched in with 2 of her own. The defense was led by Ariana Chavos with great blocking and rebounding. Then in little, little less than a week, the team lost a hard-fought game to PW again on Wednesday, 34-14. Dana Delameter led the team with 9 points. Molly Randall and Kirsten Schopp also threw in 2 points. And Alana Nguyen scored 1 point. They look to get back in the winning column against Pendale on February 1st. In 7th and 8th grade boys basketball, the varsity boys basketball team opened up their season yesterday by traveling to Strayer. The Chargers came home with a big win. The final score is 40-24. to Leading the entire game, the Chargers opened up a 15-3 lead after the first quarter and never looked back. The team defense was excellent, holding Strayer to a single digit scoring after each quarter. Offensively, uh, offensively the team was led by Mason Franick, who had 10 points, Josiah Wood added 9 points, Ben Holdsworth had 8 points, Darren Burner 6 points, Carter Van 4 points, and Jaden Davenport 3 points. The team will look to stay on the winning track when they travel to Penn North on Thursday. The JV boys basketball team also opened up their season with a 24-15 win against Strayer. Their team defense was excellent, shutting out Strayer in the first quarter and holding them to a single-digit scoring the remainder of the game. Offensively, the team was led by De Devon Hammond with 8 points, Tyler Pepe had 4 points, and Shane Austin, Will Crowley, London Evans, Johan Luke, Josh Shaw, and Colin Young each added two points. Great way to start the season, Penfield. The 7th grade boys basketball team played a great all-around game against Penn North on January 27th, winning 30-17. to The team jumped out to a sizable lead at halftime after playing strong defense and scoring off fast break opportunities. The team was led in scoring by Colin Young with six, followed by Devon Hammond, Will Crowley, and London Evans each with five. Trey Brennan with four, Shane Austin with three, and Nolan Carpenter with two. In ninth grade boys basketball this week, on January the 18th, in ninth grade boys basketball defeated Truman 51-48. Lee Hammond led our team with 17 points. On January the 21st, they defeated CB West 49-35. CJ Cronmiller, Gabe Ultimus, Chase Jones led the team with 10 points each. Cole DeAmbrosio had nine points, and Lee Hammond scored eight points. On January 25th, they defeated Hatboro Horsham 41-31. Tyler Cronmiller led the team with 15 points. Lee Hammond scored 13 points. Now we go to cheerleading. Your North Penn Middle School cheerleaders hit the mat once again this, Saturday, this past Saturday, January 22nd, and completed at the Titan Showdown at Central Bucks South High School. They took second in middle school extension off and first place in the in the middle school traditional routine. Congratulations to the whole team who hit their routine with no deductions and the stunt group who competed on behalf of the North Penn Middle School cheer, cheer team. The stunt group included Elias Chavos as the flyer, Danielle Erber and Leah Dial as the bases, and Kaylee Fisher as the backspot. Before we turn to the mat for wrestling, Coach Kersman would like to invite Penn Steel students interested in spring track to sign up in the Google Classroom using the code VPGHVG6. In wrestling, 
There was a moment of silence in honor of Coach Jenkins and a very hard-fought match between Pendale and your Penfield Chargers. The wrestling team battled back and forth, receiving pins from Colton Marajam, Rowan Noss, and Sahir Arfin. The match came down to the final seconds of Nick Sanfelice's match, where he was able to hold off his opponent, winning 2-1 to one, and securing the victory for Penfield. Coach Jenkins would have been very proud for the toughness that the, that the Chargers showed yesterday. That's it for sports. And, bef and before we do, uh, do a moment of silence for Coach Jenkins, I'm, I apologize to anyone who I said their names wrong. And uh, here is a moment of silence for Coach Jenkins. He uh, passed away on the winter break. Uh, he meant a lot to the sport. He loved coming out here, Coach. It was a really great thing to see him interact with our kids. So this is our first home meet since his passing. And we want to take a moment of silence to honor his legacy and support in our school. So if you could just take a moment, uh, you know, close your eyes and have a moment of silence for all of us, we'd really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Pendel parents, for participating in this. Thank you, Pendel team, for participating in this. Thank you very much. Thanks, Ethan. Next, we have a short segment on Lunar New Year. Hey, Penfield. This day of service is going to be Lunar New Year and marks the first day of the year 4,720 on the that Chinese calendar. Lunar New Year is also known as Chinese New Year and is celebrated all over the world. The largest celebrations outside of China are in London, San Francisco, Sydney, New York, Vancouver, and Los Angeles. Philadelphia also has its own celebrations. More on that in a bit. This holiday is primarily celebrated by people of Asian descent. However, anyone is welcome to join in the fun. This year marks the Year of the Tiger. It is said that each year will have the characteristics of the animal that it falls on. So this year and the people born during the year of the tiger will be vigorous and ambitious, daring and courageous, enthusiastic and generous, self-confident with a sense of justice, and a commitment to help others for the greater good. Lunar New Year can also be called the Spring Festival as it marks the end to the coldest days of the year. Most cultures have some way to mark the end of winter, whether it be candlemas in Europe or Groundhog Day like in the U.S. Either way, the festival lasts 15 days, ending on the next full moon. Philadelphia's Chinatown was started in 1870. This year, the city will be celebrating in style. But before you hop on SEPTA, remember that the city requires proof of vaccination, and make sure to grab a mask. This year, we'll start the, with the festivities on Saturday, January 29, 2022, at 5 to 6, 7 p.m. in Dilworth Park. It is a spot for traditional lion dances, ice skating, and special Lunar New Year menu in the Rothman Orthopedics Cabin. For more information and to see what else is happening around the city, check out visitphilly.com and click on the link in the, in the description. If you enjoyed learning about Lunar New Year, check the description for more resources and of past celebrations. Gung Ho Pa Choi! No, Gung Ho Pa Choi. What did I say? I said Gung like something like Hi. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. Start from the top. Okay. The way out. <laughs> Next up, we have Harisa, Akshaya, Radhika, Shreya, and Ruth with the Penfield champion. So hi, Mrs. Howard. So Penfield wants to know why you chose Aaron as the student champion for this week. Well, Aaron is new to North Penn School District as a whole. And I chose her because I felt like she adjusted very well. And in science class, she exemplified what a model student is. Erin always had extra things to share during discussions. And she often gave me things to think about as well. So Erin deserves it. She's an excellent student. I'm proud of her. Hey, Penfield. So I am here with this week's Penfield champion, Erin Gennett. So we have a little present for you. It's a little lanyard and a pen. Thank you. Mrs. Howard nominated you because you were new to North Penn School District and you adjusted things really well. 
She really does think you're a really amazing student. And I do too. Thank you. You're a good friend. You're a good friend. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're gonna ask her how she feels? Oh, uh, how do you feel? Um, I feel really happy right now because I had no idea that I was gonna get nominated for it. So I'm really happy and I feel very loved. Well, you are. So yay. Okay. <laughs> Lastly, we have our teacher recognition. Go, man. Go. So this should happen. We got one more thing. Okay. What? Teacher of the month. What? I'm going to quit. I just, I've peaked at this point. All right, I'm out of here. Oh, thank you so much. That's so nice. Yeah, I was looking through the results because I monitor it. Yeah. And before it was all Mrs. Howard, and now it was all you. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Thank you so much. So is this something that I get from, is it like students? Uh, so, your yeah, students choose you, okay. you okay. But, then, but then Dr. O'Sullivan and Mrs. Robbins kind of like enforce it. Okay. So. All right, good. So I'm good with Dr. Yeah. O'Sullivan. All right, good, good, good. <laughs> oh. And it says, he is nice. Yeah. So it's, I have an award, an award that just says, he is nice. So, nice. That was a good nice. Thank you. Round of applause to Aaron, too. Nice job, Aaron. Oh, thank you so much. I'm going to hang this up back here. So how do you feel? I feel great right now, honestly. I mean, I don't think I've ever been uh, given an award for my teaching. I definitely have never been given an award. So thank you. Well, you deserve it. Thank you so much. You are much. an amazing teacher. Oh. You're an amazing student. Thank you. I really appreciate it. All right. Um, I don't think I can top Erin's answer. What did she say? She said, I feel very loved right now. Yeah, that, right? that's, what, that's what he said. Yeah, I'm going to copy Erin's answer <laughs> and pretend like I came up with it and say, I feel very loved right now. You know, that's just exactly how I'm feeling. It's totally coming right from my head. Um, <laughs> no, but honestly, I feel, it feels really good. So thank you so much to the students who nominated me. And you were one of my students. Thank you so much. Thanks, Penfield. Appreciate it. No, I feel very loved thing that was all you Well, there you have it. Thanks for watching this week's Charge Time. We hope you enjoyed and have a great weekend.